What's up, you guys? There's a message coming through. And if I get the lovers in reverse position, this is going to confirm it for me. I just got the page of wands there. Um, I was just seeing a story in my mind's eye of uh, two divine counterparts who went through some sort of a test with regards to healing some sort of trauma and doing some shadow work. So whoever you are, you healed and you did the work that you needed to do. <clears throat> and there was some sort of a test, like some sort of temptation. It could be, it could be, it could be like a person, like sexual temptation. It could also just be like temptation, like a perspective shift sort of temptation. You know, <clears throat> maybe somebody was associating themselves with a lower frequency for too long and that was a decision that they made which made it difficult for them to make a shift like you had made a shift nina hi baby girl come up here <coughs> good girl nina come on <clears throat> yay nina mm, yay nina's back for those of you who don't know this is nina um, it could be, I don't know, it could, temptation could also be like, I don't know, your spirit guides told you to be vegan and then all of a sudden somebody was like, here, have a hamburger and you decided to eat a hamburger and it shifted your frequency in some way. I don't know. It's temptations are all different, but there's something about it's both people had to make it through this. So let's just pull some cards and I don't think that the other person made it. We've got the king of wands here. You may be a fire sign or the person you are dealing with may be a fire sign. What else? Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light. So the king of wands um, as an archetype is just someone who's a very strong leader. Okay? So yeah, that's who you are. Like trailblazing. <coughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to have to make this reading short, unfortunately. But um, it's three. Okay. <coughs> what else? Spirit, it's 304 and that was 204 there. On the clock. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> my diaphragm is going nuts. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, spirit ancestors of the highest white light. Queen of Swords in the reverse position. Yeah, we've got a liar in the midst, okay. Um uh -huh. or maybe somebody was not good at uh um, maybe we might have an air sign too, who is not very good at, um, setting boundaries. Also the queen of swords in the upright position, generally speaking, is somebody who is very good at setting boundaries in the reverse position. It could be somebody who's not very good at setting boundaries. Queen of swords could also just be somebody or in the reverse position in particular could be, um, somebody who's, uh, who is very mentally or is deceptive. Somebody who is, um, like intellectually manipulative, I feel like you see through the illusion and you're turning over a new leaf. I also feel like with the seven of swords here, whoever this karmic is, they're not, it's just, this isn't, and I feel like they are a karmic now. And I don't, this might be your person or your former person or, you know, like, I don't know, you know, I feel like the universe kind of puts people together at, at similar resonances to see if it will work out. And then, um, because <clears throat> that's just, you know, take what you will and whatever you want to believe and whatever. But, you know, uh, with regards to twin flames and things like that, my my general feeling is, is that we all stem from the same source. So we all kind of are at any given moment, just different frequencies away from each other being the same. OK, so the this <clears throat> the lovers in the reverse position, somebody didn't make it. They didn't make it. <laughs> you made it, but they didn't make it. There may be like a snake in somebody's ear, is what I'm hearing, actually. A snake in somebody's ear. Eight of Wands. Something's going to happen really quickly. I also saw the Page of Wands at the bottom again. So I feel like that's whoever you are, you're going to be um, connecting with your spirit guides very soon with regards to like your next steps. Somebody needs to make sure that they're keeping their heart open. Now, if this this may or may not be your reading, okay? So, and if if you're unsure as to whether or not this is your reading, okay, this should just be confirmation for something that you already know. And if this is, if you're not sure whether this is your reading or not, don't think that it is your reading. 
but just remember the story and if something happens then this reading has confirmed it hi my lovey spirit answers to the highest white light what else <laughs> my baby i love you nina's been outside all summer with all of her friends <laughs> She's back inside now, you guys. Hi, baby girl. Oh, good girl, Dita. Okay. Ugh, gotta focus. <clears throat> good girl. <laughs> I feel like whoever you are, you've been going through a lot. You've been having to juggle a lot. I feel like that's all being released. There's some sort of a, like a survival type of a mindset, or there's some sort of a tapping into a, a karmic matrix that you had to like like default this sort of like default mode like you knew that you were in spiritual warfare and so you tapped into i'm hearing like an alter ego it's not an alter ego but it's like that would be what it would be called in the 3d it's it's you had to tap into another part of yourself like your like like the villain within you essentially okay which doesn't necessarily mean that you had to like actively do shit to people like be a shitty person because but you just had to see things for what they were um <clears throat> and then your ancestors um said okay you see it good now you discern you understand all right now we're going to give them their karma yeah the hierophant god god is like no fuck these guys <laughs> okay what else there ancestors of the highest white light We've got the sun. I feel like somebody maybe needs to go outside, get some sunshine, <clears throat> maybe ground, conjure the light. Whatever happened, you won. Yeah, go outside, ground. This is the end of a cycle. You've got emotional fulfillment um, coming in because um, your focus is going to be shifting now out of the spiritual warfare and into something um, more fulfilling. Uh and, and then uh, karmic justice also. This is weird because it makes me feel like this was almost like, <clears throat> it almost makes me feel like somebody was like, okay, another one? Like, okay, another suitor? It's almost like Jasmine from Aladdin. Like, that's what I'm seeing with, um, with uh, Raja. And she's like, she's, <laughs> she's like, oh, okay, another one. And she's, but she goes through the motions. You know what I mean? But she outsmarts all of them, you know? Um... So I don't know if this was like a karmic and you kind of knew it or if they, I mean, they kind of embodied a sort of karmic energy and then whoever you are, you kind of gave them an opportunity and space to get out of it. Just take what resonates though, you guys. All my readings are general readings. Little bits and pieces may resonate with you. Little bits and pieces may resonate with somebody else. The entire reading may resonate with you. It might just be a fun little anecdote or you might just like seeing my cats too. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, yeah. Um, all of my readings are timeless too, so if this one didn't resonate, there are a lot of other ones that may. Just read the titles, and uh, if it resonates, click, and you know, you know how to do it. Okay, so I think that's the reading. I'm gonna um, just leave it right there. Somebody needs to make sure that they are opening their heart or keeping their heart light and lifted at this time. All right, I feel like somebody's coming out of a karmic. Yeah, it's a karmic energy. You don't all of this shit's just gonna I'm just seeing it all just like fall away as you're floating out. You're like floating out of this shit. I don't know how else to say it. Okay, I'm sending you guys some and your guides are helping you and your guides are also helping to create space between you and these karmic energies. Whatever is going on behind the scenes with regards to that. I don't know. But somebody's going to see it like somebody's going to be vindicated and it's, it's uh, justice is coming okay send you guys so much love thanks so much for being here don't forget to like and subscribe until next time bye